know we need to break down barriers, but there's so many barriers. So um, I think women need to help each other, but also uh, help create a stronger amount of overall diversity. And I also mean like the neurodiversity. We need to get more people in this field because it'll only result in better outcomes. I would recommend women to follow their curiosity and interests since this is a great force that can take us to a successful career in any discipline and also in cybersecurity. So if you are curious or if you have interests in cybersecurity, be part of this. You are invited. This is a great adventure. A career that requires a lot of curiosity, lateral thinking, being methodical. Don't doubt yourself. Welcome to Cybersecurity Expert. When we go and own it, uh, just keep in mind, Probably the first interview will not be a success. Uh, I wasn't hired after my first interview. It will take some time, it will take a few cycles, but at the end you will be successful. Spend the time and make the effort early on to get the education and training you need. Demonstrate your value through a few key roles. And then, especially in the current market, you will have many opportunities. There is no sort of rule set really as to how to get into the industry. And I would say no matter what your background or skill set, there probably is a role in this industry for you. My advice for any women looking to get into cybersecurity is to not worry so much about what you don't know, but worry about um, looking at what you do know and how to add value in every interaction. Cybersecurity is complex. It's always changing. You're never going to know everything. So focus on being the person that is pragmatic, that's going to help and um, identify problems and come to solutions. Um, be the one that everyone wants to work with. And that way you'll become indispensable to your organization. And it also just makes it a much more enjoyable, collaborative working environment. So listen, good luck. Um, and I hope to see you in your future careers. Enroll in a university program, or you can even learn these practical skills by yourself. Plenty of cybersecurity professionals are actually self-taught. So if this is for you, then go and look for some CDF competitions or Crack Me challenges, which are available for you and that's how you can get started. Number one, always be curious. The job is changing. The industry is changing. We have to stay up and current on technology, up and current on what the bad guys are trying to do and why. And that means we always have to be learning. The second thing, bet on yourself. Make sure that you're always putting yourself out there, trying that next thing, taking a risk and saying, I can do this. And then third, make sure that you are always giving your perspective. I make sure with my team, I wanna hear everybody's voice. Please do not get discouraged. As you matriculate within your career, you will not find a lot of women in leadership roles. So other than just getting mentors try to find sponsors and sponsorship is a little bit different than mentorship that is when someone is investing in you uh, and it, not, it doesn't have to be financial but helping you with the promotion uh, helping you if you want to start a business but you know just get someone to advocate for your success there are all kinds of people in cybersecurity from all different backgrounds. In my experience, all you need to do is have the willingness to learn, to be determined, to be creative, ask lots of questions. There are so many people in the field that are willing to help you. I support women to, first of all, train yourself, get your education, negotiate like your male counterparts, 